am i eligible for gate psychology can i give gate psychology exam while i am in my first year second year third year so in this video we will be discussing about mainly the eligibility for your gate psychology so who can give this examination either you are in the first year second year third year fourth year whichever year you are we will just solely rely on what we will rely on the information that is available on the website and you can just google it gate 2025 and you will you will get all the details from there right so in the previous video as i told you what you have to do you have to just go to google.com and then just type gate 2025 then you will get the first link indian institute of technology roorkee iit roorkee and then when you will click on this link then you will be redirected to the website of gate 2025 and there you will find all the important dates test paper syllabus application fees download eligibility criteria and all of that so in today's video we will be discussing mainly our eligibility criteria and in the next video we will be discussing about what we will be discussing about the syllabus what it is how it is and how you can prepare in the upcoming next videos so if you have not watched the first video what is gate psychology make sure that you watch the first part this is part number second and if you have not yet subscribed the channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel as well as don't forget to join the telegram group as well because in telegram group there will be one recent pdf shared about saundra k sisarelli book that book is so helpful for ugc net as well as your gate psychology all right so in gate psychology from past 2021 all the four years you will find questions directly 80% and 20% indirect from this particular book and what all you will need we will be discussing that completely step by step in our next week upcoming videos so this is the information brochure gate 2025 you can also download this eligibility for gate 2025 so let's suppose you are about to give this examination or you are thinking am i eligible or not before filling the application candidates must ensure that they meet the educational eligibility criteria of gate 2025 exam all right a candidate who is currently studying in the third or higher years of any undergraduate degree okay so this is talking about what this is talking about our undergraduate degree like bcom ba and all that or who has already completed any government approved degree program either you would have completed ba bcom or ba whatever it is so the three year program if you have already completed in engineering technology architecture science commerce arts humanities whatever obviously it's pretty obvious that you would have completed your bachelor's in any of this field is eligible for appearing in the gate 2025 examination so what is this this is the your minimum criteria this is your minimum criteria that you should be in the third year or higher years of any undergraduate degree program so let's suppose right now these days there is a four year i guess degree program so if you are in the third year then also you can give this examination while you are doing your undergraduate degree okay so let's suppose if you have done ba from arts or ba from science or you have done bsc whatever you have done and you are already completed so it's pretty easy if you have completed then it's no need to worry but if you are in the in your third year then only you can apply so let's suppose you have taken admission in 24 or 23 then you might not be able to give this examination this time 2025 because just now you are in the second year or you are in the first year okay so if you are third year and above then you can give this gate 2025 examination and likewise it will be for the upcoming gate 26 27 session as well okay apart from that what else disclaimer qualifying in gate examination does not guarantee admission scholarship so it will not just if you just qualify this examination it will not guarantee your admission or scholarship admission to any institute is fully dependent on the admitting institute criteria so basically if you are from xhc5 that is psychology then you are most possibly 90 to 95% aiming for what aiming for phd in iits okay so they will conduct it separately and then for educational qualification similarly gate qualification does not assure a psu job it is not guaranteeing your for this examination sorry for this job as it depends on the recruitment procedure of the concerned psu but no doubt if you have a gate score if you have a very healthy or good gate score for 3 years and let's suppose some vacancy or some recruitment is going on then you have a high chance of getting admitted over there which is the scenario which we will be discussing in the benefits video that you might not get with net and jrf okay so this job is not concerned with 
this net GRF thing, but this is concerned with your gate score. All right. So gate committee does not assume responsibility. All right. We are completely okay with it. And then apart from that, important thing for you is this thing note 4.2. If a candidate is pursuing any higher degree, higher degree, let's suppose you are in your master's first year or has already obtained a degree higher than that mentioned in table 3. Table 3, what we just mentioned, the graduate program, that is 3 years. The candidate will be allowed to appear for GATE 2025 examination. So, if you might be in your second year of MA, first year of MA, you can give it because this examination you are able to appear. Okay, because they are asking for what? They are asking for if a candidate is pursuing any higher degree or has already obtained a degree. So, obviously, you have BA degree, BCom degree, BSc degree. Whatever degree you are having that is in this thing. Okay. So note 4.3, the candidates with BSc, BA, BCom degree desires to seek admission for master's program in IITs may refer to JAM 2025. So this is not our concern right now. And then moving forward, what else is there? So see, they are mentioning eligibility criteria for GATE 2025. So degree program, BE, BTEC, whatever you have done. So this is description of eligible candidates. You can check it over here. But obviously, if you have just completed graduation, you are done, then you are very good to go. Okay. So let's suppose you are doing MSc, MA, most probably MA students will be there. So MA you are doing master's degree in any branch of arts, you would have, you will be doing this and currently in the first year or higher or already completed. Okay. So it's completely okay. You are eligible for GATE 2025. You just have to keep in mind that you are simply just graduate. You have completed your graduation successfully and you are in your maybe masters msc so you can give this examination and you can qualify this examination very easily so this is the thing if you are aiming for phd and all you should aim for from iits if you are aiming for phd from iits then you should be aiming for this examination which will be very very helpful and the competition over here is very very less in the upcoming videos we'll be sharing the data as well that how the competition is less and how if you prepare differently from others that you have a edge of clearing this examination in your very first attempt you can clear this in your first attempt you just have to focus on the psychology portion as well as little bit of that portion of your general reasoning and mathematics part so you can take care of that and psychology will be dealing with it all right okay so that's all for now now you have an idea about first of all what is gate psychology how it will help you as well as now you are able to know that that are you eligible for this examination this year or not so if you are third year and above you are good to go but if you are in your second years of your undergraduate program or you're in your first year then you might not be able to sit for or you can sit but you will not be eligible to take this certificate and all that okay so make sure that you are third year or third year higher and if you are doing masters and all then you might be in your first year or second year it's completely okay because why because this gate score will be valid for how many years it will be valid for your three years so three complete years you are full have full chance to complete this thing and your masters and all that and you can take exam you can appear for iit phd thing okay so that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. You would have understood what is the eligibility criteria, minimum eligibility criteria for this thing. If you have any doubt, you can comment down below because this is the information that we are referring from the official notification. So there might not be any other scenario apart from this. So in the next video, we will be discussing the syllabus of GATE Psychology 2025 as well as 2026 because the syllabus will be more or less same in the upcoming years as well. So if there are any changes, we will deal with it. But for now, we will be discussing the syllabus for your 2025 session. Okay. So make sure that you watch the third part as well. And you follow the series of gate psychology preparation guide. The link is given in the description. From there, you can just click on that link and you will find videos serial wise 01, 02. This is the 02 part. And then in the next video, we will be discussing the third part. That is our syllabus. So syllabus is nothing same to same as your UGC net but the level of questions is little bit different tricky and what will be the paper pattern we will be discussing in the upcoming videos all right okay so thanks for watching the video if you have not yet subscribed the channel make sure that you do hit the subscribe button and if you have not yet joined the telegram channel make sure you join the telegram channel as well you will find the link below in the description okay thank you